Hey there, WordPress friends. Dustin Hartzer here from yourwebsiteengineer.com. And today we're gonna dive into the nitty gritty details of how to use the block editor. Specifically, how to effortlessly rearrange the blocks and take complete control of laying out your content. So let's dive right in. Before we dive in, let's talk about what a block is. A block in WordPress is any piece of content, whether that be a paragraph, a button, a list, images, all those things are considered blocks. And each block can be moved around to create stunning visuals and that perfect layout that you are looking for on your WordPress site. Let's go ahead and figure out what this is. Here we are on our site and we are ready to take a look at what these blocks are. And this is a easy piece of content. It's just a, a bunch of gobbledygook here. But basically every th time you see a different item, that's a different block. So we've got a heading block here. We've got a line that's a block, a spacer block or a HR uh, separator block, they call them. We've got another heading. We've got another heading. We've got a list item here. And what I want to highlight first is you want to make sure that you are selecting the block itself. So we know that we are in the right area. So we we can drag and drop and we can move it. So for example, for here, if we click right on there, we are gonna pull up this little floating menu bar. And this will give us the ability to switch to a different heading level. We can highlight, we can bold, we can do all those things. But these six little dots right here are the drag dots and you can grab those and then you can move them. Notice where I, where I kind of highlight or where I kind of like stop, that's gonna be where the block's gonna go, where that blue line is. So if we keep going, we can go down, down here, or we can move it all the way down to the bottom. That's one way that you can move things. So you can highlight and you can drag and drop. The next way that you can do is you can use these arrow buttons. So we've got some arrows here and there's a little animation as you click it, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up, up, and that's too far, I can go down. And so that is there. And then the third way to do it is more of a hidden way. And this is up here in this, what's called the document overview. Um, some people like to call it a drawer. Um, we got the list view. That's essentially what we want. And we can take these and we can drag them and drop them in the list view. So we can move them around and completely rearrange. If we want that list first thing, we can drag it right up there. And there is our list. Now, one other thing that I want to highlight that it, this is important when you we are rearranging our content is we've got the back button and we've got the redo button. So we can click the back button and we're gonna see our kind of all of our changes go in reverse order and we can go back and forth and back and forth. And the really cool part is if you hit the update button and then you can still go back and forth. Unlike sometimes if there's a code editor and you save and you close, like you can still go back and forth. So that is the exciting news about moving your content back and forth and up and down, whether it's in list view, whether it is in the drag and drop interface, or you use the arrows. Those are the main ways, the three ways that you can rearrange your content to create that perfect website. So the, the art of re rearranging on blocks, there's no one perfect way. There's three separate techniques and now you're ready to take your content content creation to the next level, crafting that perfect layout to suit your vision for a post, for a page, for any type of content that's on your WordPress site. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more WordPress tips and tricks. Don't forget to share the video with fellow WordPress enthusiasts. Now go forth, rearrange your blocks like pros, and let your creativity shine. This is Dustin Hartzer from Your Website Engineer, signing off.